All right, everybody, welcome back. Um, so level seven was the assessment. And like I said before, I'm not actually gonna walk you through the assessment because I wanna see what you know. Um, but before we move on to level eight, which is what this video is gonna be mainly about, I did wanna show you that uh, it is possible. I went through and I did it. Um, it's red because of course, that's what it asks for. Links turn red if the user clicks on it, which I did. Um, but you can see when I hover over it, it does what it's supposed to. When I click on it, it does what it's supposed to. So there we go. Um, that is all done and good to go. So let's press the orange finish button and head to level eight. So level eight, lesson 18, CSS pseudo classes, adding pseudo classes reflection. Take a minute to reflect on the last level where you were tasked with adding and styling pseudo classes and answer the following questions. So we're going to take all four questions because a lot of times what people will say is I deserve a blank and then that's it. They submit it. That's not what this is asking for. So we're going to just paste in all four questions and then we're going to start with the first question. I believe I earned a blank because blank. So you want to make sure you fill in both parts of that. Um, how do you know how to complete this assessment? So what helped you learn the skills you needed to do this? All right. Um, what was easy about the task? What was the most challenging? So again, you know, filling in what was easy for you, that's going to be different for everybody. Um, what was the most challenging again, different for everybody. Um, for me, I would say for this one, how did you know how to complete the assessment? Um, I did not need extra resources. I have not looked at the uh, teacher handbook or the answer key once. Um, I made sure to read the directions um, sometimes two or three times just to make sure I knew what I was doing. Um, and the comments, like the comments that code.org puts in are very specific and very helpful. Um, so what was easy about the task was that they told me exactly what they wanted me to do. Uh, I didn't have to come up with my own color schemes. Uh, they said orchid, Rebecca, purple, like they were very specific. And I love that. I'm, I'm, I'm one of those people. It's like, yes, there are moments where I can be creative, but I'd much rather, uh, someone just tell me what they want me to do. Um, and then what was the most challenging was that I challenged myself not to look back at any of the material. I wanted to just do it all uh, off the top of my head and I was able to do that. So that was exciting. Um, what did you do to overcome the challenging part? Again, um, I just, I pushed myself and I knew that if I needed to, I could always look back at uh, previous levels, the practice level, the skill building level, but I didn't need to. So that was excellent. And then what questions do you still have? Um, again, this is going to be person specific, but there you go. Just remember to answer all four questions. Don't just say I earned a blank and then press submit. So with that, we're going to, we are going to press submit now. Um, and I will see you guys on the next level. Here we go.